We got the whole unit dismantled. Well, the part that we want is this whole front assembly right here. So we're just going to pull this off. And as you can, I don't know if you can really see it, but yeah, that whole LCD screen is pretty much shattered. Not pretty much, it is shattered. So um, we are going to take off this front piece right here. So there's a screw holding in the grounding ribbon cable right here. We're going to pull that out. Keep the screw. And underneath here, I like to use my little Harbor Freight picks. They have a ribbon cable that will actually connect all these buttons to the unit itself. So just be careful about the ribbon cable. Pull that out. And the speaker as well as the button up here Let's see, the button, the RFU indicator, and the speaker are all connected down here. So, just pouring that. There goes that. This is trash. Can't have a broken screen. Alright, so now we're going to pull this LCD screen out. And I'll be honest, I don't quite remember how to do that. So there's a couple of screws around here. I don't remember which screws to pull out and which ones not to. So. There are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six screws. I'm pretty sure I don't have to pull out all those, but for the time being, I'm still going to. So, I'm going to pull these out. Let's see. Pull these out. And they all take a standard Phillips head. So, no, I'm still walking. I figured it out pretty darn quick. Uh, we are actually going to have to pull this whole unit apart and when we do that we are able to actually access a single screw in there that we're able to then dismantle the whole front piece. So what I did was crack this back end open and I pulled out the various cables that were connected. There are a couple defib cables, battery cables, uh, printer cables, Sensing cables, pacemaker cable, and whatever that one goes to. So we're basically pulling out all of the different cables that are locked in the back of here, separating this whole unit. And then up here, this is your end title CO2. So this whole piece is actually an anti-static air thing. And it's actually connected to this piece right here which is at the very top right there. And there's a screw right on top of it, screw in a washer. So you're gonna pull that out, and this whole piece, hey, look, it drops out. Magic, so that's exactly what we want. So, that being said, it's connected by two, two cables, the LCD screen, I'm gonna pull those out. Careful not to bend the pins because I have done that. Alright, so here's our LCD screen. It is big time shattered. So we're going to pull this piece off, keep it there, pop out the LCD. Nothing on there that we need to save. So here is our new LCD screen. Actually, you know what? We need to save that black piece. Alright. So, I'm going to actually... These are technically not anti-static, I know. I'm not 100% concerned about that right now. I just don't want to get any fingerprints on it, which you will be able to tell. So these are just regular hospital grade non-latex gloves. And yes, they are not anti-static, I know. 
Okay, so we are going to somehow get this unit out. Just like that. Okay. Slap this thing back in, just like so. Oh, make sure to take the protective film off. 